IDLO believes the rule of law is about equal protection. Accountability, whereby no one is above the law. And certainty, whereby these principles will apply to everyone. IDLO works to improve people's access to justice the world over by making institutions work for people. Building legal institutions and providing judicial training are key building blocks in delivering justice. Civil society has a crucial role to play too, encouraging bottom-up empowerment. IDLO is committed to women participating in the justice sector, including becoming lawyers, judges and prosecutors. به این اعتقاد قلبی برسند که برابر با مردان هستند و برای رسیدن به این اعتقاد قلبی نیازمند تحصیلات عالی هستند تحصیلات به زن این اعتماد به نفس رو میبخشه که تواناست که میتواند we hope also to engage the youth because for this project to continue, for it to be sustainable, then we have to engage the people who will be the future elders. So we are hoping to also engage the youth much more than um, we did before. IDLO improves institutions in order to bring about stability. And supports nation building by making constitution drafting an inclusive process. The reason that the uh, commission exists is because uh, when the framers of the constitution and the people of Kenya looked back at the history of the, of, of, of the, 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 the country and the previous constitution, it was felt that to protect this new dispensation, this new transformative document, there was a need to have a body with a specific mandate to ensure that the, the, the constitution is indeed fully implemented and to remain accountable to the people of Kenya. <laughs> Good laws foster confidence and help systems work better. From the health of the planet to the health of human beings. IDLO is working to make laws fair, effective and responsive to people's needs. IDLO's work reflects the interdependence between the rule of law, human security and economic development. It enhances respect for human rights, encourages economic activity by providing a legal framework for business, trade and investment. There is a global crisis of the rule of law, reflected in a dangerous deficit of public trust in institutions and a deep disconnect between the formal mechanisms of the rule of law and people's lived experience of justice and equity. Restoring people's confidence in justice systems is an enormous challenge confronting national governments and the international community today. <laughs>